Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Dwayne with Off Grit and today I'm going to be setting up my laser and grade stick here because now that I have the initial foundation dug, I have to go over now and actually dig out and kind of uh, edge everything and make everything, you know, nice and square and neat. So, uh, cause that was just a rough dig. And so that means I got to set up, uh, batter boards. I got to set up lines and all that good stuff. So this is the kind of stuff that's, uh, it's actually not that bad. You know, I actually don't mind doing this cause I'm learning as I go here. So got my laser, got my, uh, grade stick, and then I got my receiver here, which man, I am so glad that I bought this receiver. I cannot tell you like this receiver the laser without the receiver is still useful, but man, this receiver just makes this thing so much more useful, uh, you know, because I'm able to use it just by, you know, being 100 feet away from it and I can uh, tell like where I need it and I, all I have to do is move the stick up and down. So this is great for that. Um, so I really love this thing. It's one of the better purchases I've made so far. Um, I mean, and it was only like... I don't know, 70 bucks for this or something like that. It might've been less. I'm not sure. But, uh, but I did is I got like an aftermarket, you know, I got, I got a laser that was pretty good price. Like this was $99. Then I got the grade stick, which was, I want to say 40 bucks. And then I got this thing, which was 60 or 70 bucks. And so, you know, overall you spent a couple hundred dollars, but man, when you see the price of the package lasers and stuff, uh, it, it gets up there, you know, really quick. set my batter board. So basically wherever this hits the bottom of this because I set this thing down six inches that means I got to go up six inches in order to meet the laser from a reference point which means that this is where the top of this thing's going to be if that makes any sense. So these batten boards basically, or batter boards, I keep calling them batten boards, batter boards are basically just two stakes in the ground and a two by four, but they all have to be pretty level with each other. So, and the way you do that is, so you set this laser up, you go down to that spot right there and you set up your receiver. And what you do is you get your receiver to beep. And once you get it to beep, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move this uh, <coughs> receiver off your grade stick, you're gonna move it down however many inches you wanna set these things. And then what that's gonna do is, when you move the receiver down, that means you're gonna to have to move it up in order to get it to beep. So, in my case, I move it six inches, so that way, when I need to, uh, um, when I need to check these, I'll know that they're all, all these from one spot to the other are pretty darn close. And you'll notice, like when you look at them here, you won't you won't think that they're they're level, and that's that's why you're you got to do this because your eyes are going to deceive you. So what happens is, if you run a string line from this point, say over to that point, and it's at an angle, it's going to have an effect on uh, your measurements. It's it, things are going to be off. So if you have a high spot over here and a low spot over here, and you're running a line. 
well that line's going to be affected by that so you want everything in here is about as level as you can get it and so this is what i do now so i've already done it pretty much already um by uh you know i went around with the pounding the stakes in and then I, you know i had my level here and then what i what i did was i used painters tape to kind of make my first line and then just went from there so now what i can do is i can go around and check them so that's going to give me tells me i'm darn close so there it is so see and that's what i need to hear so i'm going to go around each one okay so here we are this is the front of the house and we know for sure this is this is the line that everything's going to be based off of okay including the sides of the house the back of the house but this is the beginning the buck starts here so what i'll do is i'll run a line and i'm going to run a line you can see i have a feather in the ground already so we got a feather right there and that that should be because that's where we base the digging off of that should be where we are here and then the other one there's a feather down there and when i line that line up it should be darn close with this hole here everything should be good so what i'll do first is i'm going to go through here with the shovel and i'm going to edge everything and then i'm going to check the uh, depth of uh the stem wall area here to make sure that it's six inches deep off of that reference point over there now all right so once i got all that finished um set up my first line i couldn't wait till tomorrow i just decided to do it now and i set up my first line in the front of the house and i also forgot to tell you all that i got to dig out the rest of these uh three foot deep footings um for for the columns so that requires me using this jackhammer here because there's caliche down here and it's a bitch to dig through. So um, I got to get uh, in there and just get dirty and I got 12 of these holes to do and you know it's it's not the most fun part but it's, it's definitely necessary. So yeah that's what I ended up doing uh, for the rest of the day. I just basically dig until I'm tired. <laughs> Then I put this thing away and I'll start tomorrow morning and we'll just keep going around. I'll, I'll go around till it's done. And then after that, uh, basically it'll be time to set up the forms and pretty soon before you know it, we'll have our concrete, at least the beginnings of it, uh, poured and then I'll be able to start setting up the columns and everything. So that's exciting. So thanks a lot for following along y'all and, uh, look forward to posting more updates in the future.